Hello, everyone. Hi. Um, so I wanted to just go live really fast. It seems like this theme keeps coming up, and I thought um, I have a few minutes to spare before I get on my last call for the day. It's been a busy day. What are you guys up to on this Tuesday? Um, Tuesday used to be my day off, and now it's my busiest day ever because I'm running two businesses, but it feels really good. So I have a, um, a tip for you when you do your lives or when you're trying to share a message or maybe you're trying to promote something that you have. Um, there's two things that I want you to consider and I really think that this will help you feel more grounded in your message. It will help you feel like there's a point to your message and it will help you um, also attract your audience. And so here is what you do. The first thing before you even start your message is have, a, have an end in mind. What's the purpose of your message? What's the purpose of your live? What's the purpose of maybe you're writing an email, maybe you're writing like whatever you post, whatever you share, have an end in mind. What's your goal? If you can have an end in mind of what you want to get across, that's going to help you in creating the content so that it's not just random, so that it's not just like you're putting it out there, that you actually have a very specific goal. If you're writing a blog, if you're writing an email, if you're doing a live, whatever you're doing, understand what the point is that you're trying to reach. Are you just trying to inform people? Are you trying to inspire them? Are you trying to motivate them? Are you trying to get them to join your program? Are you trying to, um, are you just, are you just trying to educate? Are you just, um, are you trying to entertain them? And a tip for you is that your post should have a variety of different goals, right? So um, if you really want to win at this thing that we call marketing, you're going to have a variety. So some days you're going to be entertaining people. Some days you're actually, you can actually rant. You can, um, I don't ever, I don't really rant. Um, my coach rants a lot. It works for him. Um, if you, <clears throat> if you're about like, I don't think anyone in here is about that. I was gonna say, if you're about like opposing your audience, like if you wanna like stir stuff up, sometimes, you know, they say um, bad marketing is good marketing. I don't necessarily believe in that, but you might want to like, hey, you might have like a really strong opinion about something and maybe you just want people to know what your opinion is. So that would be more considered a rant. I don't think I do that very much. Um, maybe I have and I didn't know it. Um, but that kind of feels yucky to me. I don't want to like not include a lot of people or make people angry. So I try to like keep it low key, but that works for some people. Like they're just like that. So if that's how you do it, like this is your authentic message. Um, <clears throat> so anything that you are putting out there, anything you want to promote, anything you're planning, have an end in mind. What's your goal for this? What's the point of you doing that? And does it fit with everything else you're doing? Hi, Haley. So one thing to consider, and Haley, I talked about this with you last time we sat down together, of just really making sure you have an end in mind. So when you're trying to write an email, some of your emails might be inspiring. Some of your emails might be um motivational. Some of your in emails might try to get them to take action. Uh, you've probably read it in your inbox. Uh, different people um, have a different point that they're trying to get across in different emails. They might be trying to sell you something. They might be trying to inform you, educate you, get you excited about something, whatever it is. So the second thing to consider once you've realized, once you know what the end in, end in mind is, the next thing to consider when you're posting your content or going live is now that you know the end, 
what do you want your people to do with this information? Your, your lives, your posts, your shares, many of them, not all of them, but especially if you're doing a Facebook Live and you're wanting to gain traction with your audience, you're wanting to engage them, you're wanting to um, find out if they're following you, find out if they're intrigued, find out if they want to know more. All of your Facebook Lives should have a call to action. Call to action. So let's talk about what a call to action looks like. Um, I post it a lot, like I'll say a lot, um, message me if you have questions, or I'll say if this was inspiring to you and you just want to continue the conversation, I would love, 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 love to talk to you about this. Message me and we can talk more. So what I'm doing is I'm letting them know that the door is open and that if they really are intrigued, they can send me a message. So I'm giving them a call to action. I'm giving them the next step, letting them know the ball is in their court and it's really, um, it's up to them what they do next, but you're sending them ultimately where you want them to go. For some of you, if you have a website or a free downloadable product or, um, Maybe you want them to join your email list. If you have some, some link that they can sign up on for free, then if you are sharing something that resonates with the free offer that you have, then you can say, um, if you wanna know more, download my free PDF or go to the link below, I'll post it in the comments, go there, um, Go there like you're telling them where you want them to go if you are Haley you're posting a lot one tip that you can do and I know you've been asking a lot of questions like trying to get people to engage um, is like start off with a bold statement and that will intrigue them to read more and then at the end ask them to like comment comment if you if you want to go there or, you know, send me your, drop your favorite emoji if you want to know more, or um, uh, like you can get them to just, your call to action can be really simple and just engage with your post. The more engagement you have organically in your posts, the more that Facebook will reward you and put you higher up in the algorithm so that more and more people will start to see it. If you have little engagement, then Facebook is like, well, nobody's really engaging. So we're not going to put that very high in the algorithm. So the other day I posted something like, Hey, I have this free training, drop your favorite emoji. Or I said, comment. Yes. If you, um, if you want to download my free training, comment. Yes. And I got 20 people that commented. Yes. And it was like, even 36 hours after I posted that people were still seeing it in the algorithm because Facebook was like noticing me and keeping track that I was, I was engaging my audience. And so I was getting like brownie points from Facebook because I got them to engage. Now, if I'm selling things like, Hey, you want to buy this, go to that link and buy it. Facebook doesn't put it high on the algorithm. When I do my podcast episodes and I put like, um, Episode number 10, it's ready. The link's below to download. Um, I get very little engagement because I'm posting a link that will send people away from Facebook. So Facebook is recognizing that and they're putting me down on the algorithms. So you want to just organically get people to engage with you. Give them a call to action to engage. Comment if you like this. Comment if you want to learn more. Raise your hand and tell me if this resonates with you. Um, Haley, you could ask like, where's the fa where's your favorite place that you've ever traveled to? Um, you can like ask people to write, like if you're doing a live, you can start off by saying, um, if you're just now tuning in, write a comment, um, hashtag 
live or if you're catching the replay watch uh, comment hashtag replay there's a lot of tricks and tools um, start paying attention to what other people maybe other influencers on your timeline are doing follow me for example you can watch what i'm doing and see what works and just kind of mimic me or copy me um, there is certainly a strategy but to simplify it and not overthink and not get stuck in your own way hey sequita i'm glad you're here um, the two things, right? So have an end in mind of where you want, of what your goal is for every post. And then just know like that's your goal when like you don't have to overthink it. If you want to share something really simple, you want to share a funny story. Um, there's certainly other layers of this training that I could do, but I just want to get on really quick. So have the end in mind and then, um, Give them a call to action. What is it that you want to, them to do? Do you want them to message me, message you for more information? Do you want them to go to your website and download something? Do you want to um, email them something if they say yes? Just naturally try to increase engagement um, and just try to remember like every call, every video, just have that call to action, whether they message you, if they want to learn more, um, is that helpful? I hope that's helpful. I hope that gives you some direction in your lives. And, um, you know, we, it's really easy. We just get up there and we start talking and then we don't know what our point is. Um, you know, and we're just like, Oh, I, I did a Facebook live and I shared information. Now what? Like direct them somewhere. And when I first started doing this, I was not very good at it. So just keep doing it, keep showing up. Um, I would say over and over, message me if this resonates with you. And I wouldn't get any messages, I'd hear crickets, but I knew I have a really good message to share and I just have to refine me. I have to refine my message and my effectiveness of sharing the message. And I have to get really clear on what I'm doing here and the more that I just refined my message and I refined my skills, the more I started to have this engagement that was, was doing something. So just keep plugging away, just keep doing it. You'll keep, you'll keep getting better, keep practicing. And the more you practice and the more you pay attention, you're gonna see what works. You're gonna see what your audience is resonating with. You're gonna see what people are liking and loving and commenting on. You're gonna see that the more you keep just showing up. And so just remember to engage with them, give them a call to action and have that end in mind. What's your goal for doing a Facebook Live? What's your goal? So just, and your goal is like, it. Does, there's no right or wrong goal to have. It's just nice to have a little bit of like strategy and um like your mind is like you know sometimes whenever i do a, a speech i always say okay i'm gonna give a speech i am have these people in the room this is what they're like and i want them to feel this way when i'm done and so when i when i start with the end in mind then i create my speech and my call to action at the end of the speech to reflect how I wanted them to feel. So I hope that's helpful. Hope that's helpful. Hope you guys are having a great night. I do need to go and catch my last call for the evening. And um, I have some really exciting things for you guys. Just so you know, I am collaborating with some other experts who will be coming into the academy to teach you something that they're the expert in, which will help you be more authentic and more thriving and help you in life and business. So I'm super excited. That's a benefit, a perk to being in this closed community, just so you know. And also I'm putting together a little referral program. So if you are ever to refer anyone into our program, I will reward you with um, some free strategy sessions with me. So some of you have already invested in strategy sessions with me. Um, and that's like, you get really good ideas when you have that and I help you really clarify what's possible for you. And so I will be for every referral, at least for the next month or two or three, 
I will be rewarding you guys with um, some one-on-one -on -one time with me for any referrals that come into the group. So I love and appreciate all of you. I'm so, I so love what's happening in this group. I so love creating and I have some really, really exciting things coming, coming to you. So stay tuned. Have a great night.